Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York. We're in Atlantic City on this overcast uh, late winter day. We're across the street from Harrah's on the bay side, and in the distance there we can see the gold buildings of the Borgata and Water Club. That can mean only one thing, we're at the Golden Nugget. I recently did a walkthrough through uh, Harris Hotel and Casino, and I did a room review of the Borgata recently as well, so check those videos out. But today our focus again is on the Golden Nugget. The Golden Nugget has an incredible marina out back, and if you're the yachting type or like to hang out with the yachting crowd, this is the place to come in Atlantic City. Some great restaurants and bars out here. Uh, especially in the summertime, there's a lot of activity out here. Not so much right now, but like I said, in the summertime, there's great places to eat, drink. Um, the sports crowd is out here on Sundays. It's really a nice place to hang out in the summer. And many of the people who own the boats here that are uh, staying at the marina in the summertime tend to eat and drink here, so it's always nice to buy them a drink once in a while, if you know what I mean. This place opened in 1985 as Trump's Castle. It was renamed Trump Marina in 1997. It sits on nearly 15 acres and contains 75,000 square feet of casino, 717 guest rooms, 7 restaurants, a nightclub, and a 462-seat theater. The resort's 2,000-seat ballroom and the 462-seat theater have played host to a wide variety of entertainers, including Prince, Sting... Steve Martin, Ray Charles, Billy Crystal, Air Supply, and Aretha Franklin. Landry's purchased the property for $38 million back in 2011, taking control over Trump Entertainment Resorts, which previously owned the property. Landry's quickly renamed the property Golden Nugget Atlantic City and spent $150 million on renovations that were completed in the spring of 2012, opening new restaurants and clubs and a new outdoor pool and modernizing the resort. The marina was also renovated that time. But enough right now about the marina and the physical building and the capacities and entertainers and everything else. Let's go inside and check this joint out, shall we? So the first thing we're going to do from the ground level is take these escalators up to the casino. Hold on tight. And then we're going to say good morning, Miss Temperature Check Person. Um, yes, hello. I'd like to apply for the position of temperature checker. I'm pretty good at centigrade, but I'm really good at Fahrenheit. Once we get upstairs, you can see the walkway to the chart house, which is the marina restaurant and lounge that uh, we were walking by earlier. Some of the restaurants here at the Golden Nugget include not only the Chart House, but the Buffet, the Deck Bayfront Bar and Restaurant, the Poolside Cafe, Vic and Anthony's Steakhouse, Michael Patrick's Brasserie, Grotto Italian Restaurant, Lily's Asian Cuisine, as well as Bill's Bar and Burger. We're going to head in towards the casino now. We have to pass the uh, temperature check lady again. And by the way, I came in at a perfect 98.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, yes, that's 37 degrees Celsius I've been studying. One thing I do have to say about the Golden Nugget is if you like escalators and you like holding on tight, this is the place for you, because as soon as you walk in, there are escalators going everywhere. It kind of divides this place right down the middle. It's really a weird layout in that it does divide the place down the middle, but it's quite functional at the same time. This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot and other times she can be quite elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. And a shout out to Elapsed Time who found Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl in the latest Vegas video, Miracle Miles Shops. As well as James Landry 14 who found Donald Duck the first Orlando mascot in the uh, first Orlando video, My Trip to Orlando on an Airplane. Check that one out.
Alrighty, now we're going to check out some of the shops and restaurants here at the Golden Nugget. Um, we're going to walk past this uh, painting here on the right hand, which looks like a Jackson Pollock wannabe. And as we turn the corner, we come across the Hand of Faith Golden Nugget, the world's largest golden nugget. And I don't know if it's me or what, but... No matter what golden nugget I'm in, it seems like this hand of faith is in there, whether it's in Las Vegas or right now here in Atlantic City. I don't know if there's more than one of these. I doubt it, but it just seems like wherever I go, this nugget is there. The nugget weighs a massive 825 ounces, and in today's market value, that puts that at approximately $1,400,000. In New Jersey, it's not unusual to see something like this on a pinky ring, and you guys know the crowd I'm talking about. I'm here very early on a weekday morning uh, here at the Golden Nugget, and for the most part, these restaurants and shops are open post-COVID or during COVID. Uh, however, because of the time that I'm here, they're closed, but they should all be opening in about an hour, hour and a half. All right, we pretty much checked out a lot of stuff on the main level, which is actually the second level here at the uh, Golden Nugget. But we're going to head up to the mezzanine, which is the third level right now. Hold on tight. We're going to take one of these many escalators through the center of the building here. And as we get to the top of the landing here at the escalator, we come to the Golden Nugget uh, Poker Room, which is currently closed, as with most poker rooms in Atlantic City and Las Vegas. They're slowly reopening up. This might be open as of now when this uh, video is uploaded. I know a couple of Atlantic City uh, casinos have reopened their poker rooms, as well as those in Las Vegas. This place went through a major renovation about 10 years ago, or perhaps even a decade, but I still smell 1970s here, which is before this place was even built. The spa here at the Golden Nugget also appears to be closed right now, but uh, if you're looking for the perfect spa day in Atlantic City, nothing beats the Borgata, the best spa here in town. If you're a big enough gambler, you become a chairman level here at the Golden Nugget, and that entitles you to uh, invitations to exclusive parties and events in this room that we're looking at. 
use of VIP reservations hotline, access to private chairman's club, which again is what we're looking at if you want to hold a private party up here, uh, priority access to guest rooms and suite upgrades, free self and valet parking, preferred seating for entertainment, and lots more stuff. As with all casinos, if you're a big gambler, you get big benefits. And now we're heading all the way back downstairs again to leave this building. We're going to walk over to the Borgata. It's quite a walk, but I enjoy walking. And it's a little bit chilly out. I'm going to bundle up. It's about, I don't know, 40, 45 degrees outside right now. Um, yes, excuse me. That's about 5 degrees Celsius. Thank you, temperature check lady. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.